Hey, superstars, it's your best friend, Scott, and I'm back with part two of my April recap. I'm super excited about some pretty cool pickups this month, and I got some giveaway wins from Alan Twitchell and Dustin and Blake, so let's see some cards. My best friend Alan held a 150 sub giveaway recently and everybody who entered with a comment won something. And I won this Lorenzo Kane autograph and he included a 54 Bowman Owen friend, which is very fitting because I'm always owing friends a ton of gratitude. See what I did there? Thanks, Alan. Congrats on 150, sir. A while back, I did a bunch of weird videos, one where I made out with my cat for my best friend Dustin in his Royal Rumble, and my team's effort paid off because we were the big wieners. And here's what Dustin sent, a pack of 90 score football. Dustin signed a Kirby for me, sweet. And it's been a while since I've seen some Alvaro action. This is an 89 score Yankees. And ooh, nice, a Detroit News Don Mossy. I know I didn't have that one. Thanks, Dusty Buns. Before we get into the eBay, I bought this uh, 49 leaf satch plaque from Mark Hartsfield on Facebook. These are really neat. He makes all kinds of vintage cards into wooden wall plaques. Okay, uh, eBay. One night, Eddie texted while he was on vacation in Hawaii. I'm just that important. And he asked me if I had this Topps Living Stephen Kwan, and I didn't, so I had to buy one of those. Uh, trying to keep up with the Guardians roster autographs, here's Xavion Curry for the Scrabble win. Ian Gabot played six games for the guards last year. Backup catcher Mabris Valoria and Richie Palacios. It does get more interesting, I promise. Uh, these are for the 1920 World Series roster autograph project. Here's George Uli and Elmer Smith, who hit the first Grand Slam in World Series history. And working on my Al Rosen run, I found a nice uh, 53 tops. I love that one. And then I found a super cool vintage Indians lot. We have a 52 chick. Rocky Calavito rookie, Jim Perry rookie, 34 Gowdy Oral Hildebrand, Jim Perry All-Star, 52 Jim Hegan, Mudcat Grant rookie, Gaylord Perry rookie, this used to be an Eddie Stanky exhibit card, uh, 50 Bowman James Vernon, 57 Bob Lemon, 61 Al Rosen MVP, 59 Mickey Vernon, Bill Verdon for some reason, he was a pirate, uh, 53 Early Win, 52 Bowman Mike Garcia, 56 Howdeman, 54 Bowman George Strickland, 50 Bowman Ali Clark, and that's the no copyright error, is uh, Steve Gromek, 51 Steve Gromek, 50 Gene Bearden, an old Cy Young pamphlet thing, uh, Cleveland Stadium postcard, some 77 exhibits. We got Cy Young, Satchel Page, Trish Speaker, and Bob Feller. And the coolest part of this lot is this uh, signed 1958 team ball. This panel has Bill Hunter, Herb Score, Ray Narleski, Mickey Vernon, Carol Hardy, Rocky Colavito, and Jim Grant. And here's Minnie Minoso, Russ Nixon, Hoyt Wilhelm, Mel Harder, and Gary Bell. And then Larry Doby, Billy Moran, Don Faris, Vic Wirtz, Eddie Stanky, and Red Cress. And on the sweet spot, Joe Gordon is a clubhouse signature, unfortunately, but there's Jojo White. And this panel has Woody Held, Jim Constable, Gary Geiger, and the whole reason I bought this lot, Don Mossy. And there's Dick Brown and J.W. Porter. Sometimes I get a little jealous when I can't make the trip to the Philly show or the Dallas show or Chantilly, but I can go to the Strongsville show, which is super cool. It's not a huge show by any means, but it is very concentrated vintage and a lot of fun. And it attracts some great collectors that I enjoyed hanging out with. Four Leaf was in town and he, uh, he got to attend on the first day. Uh, Chris from Missouri drove 12 hours to hang out. It was really neat watching him operate using cards like currency and, you know, manipulating his collection to meet his needs. And, you know, I just tend to plop down some cash and call it a day, but he's operating on a totally different level. And I think I learned a lot from Chris in one weekend. Uh, Mike from Canadian Cards came down. Great dude. I got to see Andrew from Nuff Said Cards and Josh from J-Style and Mile One. Uh, both of those guys, just amazing collectors and awesome people. Oh, and uh, then there's that Don's Field of Dreams guy. He showed up, but whatever. The day before, Four Leaf gifted me some 57 Browns cards. Those are kind of fun. On the first day of the show, I took it kind of slow, but I had to buy this 63 Mossy high number. Day two is when I got a little crazier. My LCS had a table there, and I bought this signed 1950 Bob Feller from him. Uh, I found this dandy early win and Dale Mitchell. Not in great shape, but super cheap, and I like super cheap. Uh, I doubled my Mars Attacks collection with the Earthmen Charge, Fighting Giant Insects, Blasting the Bug, and Death in the Shelter. I can't believe parents didn't approve of these cards. 
And my big purchases were this 1949 picture pack satchel page, which I love, but I sold it already. More on that later. And the 1948 picture pack satchel page, which isn't the team issued picture pack, but another release. So it's probably 1949, I think, but uh, still way cool, even if they misspelled his name there. That night, Chris from Missouri gifted me this Al Rosen rookie card, and I was extra excited because not only is it in fantastic shape, but it's the no copyright error, which I didn't have. And that Don guy I pretend to dislike, he bought me this neat Bob Feller card that I'd never seen before. This line down here means that it's some kind of promo or prototype, very cool card. And then when I'm gifted a card like this, I make it a habit to write down who gave it to me on the sleeve, and that's been pretty helpful. So day three, Don and Chris had left, but Canadian Mike was still there with his buddy Steve and Andrew and Josh were still hanging around and I decided to see how much fun I could have with 40 bucks. So I bought some of these wacky packages on day two actually, but I bought the rest that the dealer had on day three. Here's Lando Quakes, Big Baddie, White Fowl, Barkist, Clammy, Dimwit Dots, Contract, Leak, El Paluto, and Marshmallow Flop. And I was wearing a Planet of the Apes t-shirt, so I had to buy these. And how do you pass up cool 70s van trading cards? Um, I saw someone on YouTube talk about this Allen and Ginter card with the wacky floating billiard balls. And this one's an album cut and not the actual card, but I needed to buy that. And George Burns here was on the 1920 Indians World Series team, and he was the MVP in 1927. So I was pretty excited to find this one, even if it does say Giants. I do want to thank everybody that came out. Not that you came out just to see me, but it was a blast hanging out. Everybody was super generous. You know, Chris bought that Al Rosen rookie for me and lots of soda. Uh, Mike bought me dinner one night and Don bought me that Bob Feller card. You know, this was on my home turf, so I tried to be a good host, I guess. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm not done yet. Cut to a few days later, and I had the complete 1949 Cleveland Indians picture pack in my eBay watch list. And even though I bought the Satch at the Strongsville show, there are still a ton of good players in that set. Well, this particular seller, he tried to auction it off twice and no one bid, and then he relisted it as a buy it now with an offer option. So I made an offer and he accepted, so I got the whole thing. Uh, here's owner Bill Veck and his awesome caller, uh, GM Hank Greenberg the stadium. There's Bob Lemon. And a lot of these photos were used for the Bowman cards. Uh, the first Al Rosen card, even though it's not really a card. Uh, Steve Gromek, and there's his card. Jim Hegan with his matching card. Dale Mitchell, Ken Keltner, the coaches, Sam Zoldak, Ray Don't Call Me Pat Boone, Early Win, Gene Bearden, Frank Papish, Mike Garcia, Al Benton, Larry Doby, and there's his matching card. Lou Boudreaux, Mike Tresh, Thurman Tucker, and his matching card, uh, Joe Gordon, that's a cool shot. Uh, Mickey Vernon, John Berardino, autographed Bob Feller, that's the shot used for his uh, 49 Bowman card. Bob Kennedy, Ali Clark, Bobby Avia with his matching card. Hal Peck, and there's the satchel. And I got the envelope even, so this was the year after they won the World Series, so it's a great team set with nine Hall of Famers, and I'm super thrilled to add these. So that's it for now. Thanks again to Alan Twitchell and Dustin and Blake for the prizes. Thanks to my best friends, Four Leaf, Chris, Mike, Don, Andrew, and Josh for hanging out. Of course, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go make some art now, I promise. And in the meantime, love your hobby, guys, and make it unique to you.